Hello, uh, YouTube. Everyone on YouTube, it's me again, Inquisitor Eyes on Overlip. And I'm doing another Let's Play. The last Let's Play I did was. Uh, what was it? I forgot already. I forgot the name. Uh, shoot. I forgot the name of the game I just did. Wow. I really should have written it down. Oh, Rogue Trooper. There it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Rogue Trooper. That Let's Play isn't up yet. I'm going to upload that Let's Play pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, I just... As I, as I said before in my, in my other videos, my uh, Let's Play Black Hawk Down for the PS2, that I wanted to do some uh, sci-fi shooters, you know, mix it up a little bit. Then I get back to the military shooters or whatever. And then, you know, one month I probably do, you know, spy shooters or, you know, stealth games or something like that. So, uh, the game I'm playing today is Ghost in the Shell. And, uh, my history with that game is that I have no history with that game. I just, I, I like shooters of all, of all types, especially on the, uh, on the PS2. I mean, if I, I mean, God help me if I had a P, if I had a PC, like I mean, or or if I was into like shooters on the PC as well, because there's a ton of shooters on there as well. But that's not that's not that's not the subject. Like I said, my history with Ghost in the Shell is that I have no history with it. I just like shooters. I looked it up one day. Well, I was looking up games and on Amazon to buy, and I saw this in the related searches, and I was like, well, I, I didn't know they made a Ghost in the Shell game. I'm not really too familiar with the anime. But I saw the game on Amazon, typed it in on YouTube, saw that it was a shooter, and I was like, okay, well, let's go for it. And uh, it's made by Band, published by Bandai, developed by, I'm not sure, or oh, Cavia. I think Cavia, I'm not sure, I think, I think Cavia is the one that did uh, the Dragon Guard games. I'll have to uh, look that up. But yeah, you know, so I saw that it was a shooter, and and I was like, let's go for it. That and it was just a Bandai game, and like I like I like shooters, you know, that are uh, I like all kinds of shooters, you know, that like especially from the seventh generation. I like stuff. I particularly like stuff that Bandai does. I try to buy all of their games for the PS2 and PS3 or whatever, and I particularly like it because I wanted to see how it was because like I said before people you know on the seventh generation you know PS2 or whatever and Xbox the rule was it was almost like a rule like a secret unwritten or you know like a secret rule or whatever not not, not, not a secret rule you know like just you know a rule of thumb basically that all movie games or games based off of cinema or TV games sort of sucked. They were all garbage. They're like, oh, it's movie games. They're not that. You know, they're not that great. <clears throat> and I wanted to prove them wrong, or I want to sort of prove that myth wrong. Not with all of them, because I will admit a lot of movie-based games or cinema-based games, whether it's movies or, or games based off movies or games based off television, a lot of them are bad. But you know, like. There's, you know, there's also a lot of them that are actually pretty good, and I believe I have some of the good ones. Even if I don't have some of the good ones, I like, to, I like to buy whatever it is that catches my interest. You know, no matter, you know, who thinks it's good or who thinks it's bad. So yeah, you know, I figured, I figured, uh, I would just uh, buy it for one, it's Bandai. For two, it's you know, it's a cinema game. I love the polish, like the like Bandai does. Like when Bandai makes a game. Whether it's based off of TV or movies or whatever, or just you know like a regular game just based off based off of an anime, you know it, it, it the game the games usually look pretty good. Like they did the uh, they did the they they published the Eureka Seven games, and those games are actually you know like very nice, I believe. Yeah, Bandai Namco Bandai. Or Bandai Namco, and those games actually look pretty good. They're not they're not the best games, but they're pretty fun. You know they they offer an, an, uh, uh, like another take or whatever. <clears throat> but without further ado, and I've, I've 
sure I've talked you guys ear off long enough with my introduction video. Without further ado, let's get started with this Let's Play. Hopefully things will go well and smooth and I'll be able to complete this Let's Play. And, uh, hmm. After this, I'm going to try, uh, if things go well with this game, even if things don't go well with this game, if, if, if I just can't cut it or, or, you know, whatever the case may be, Tron is on my list next. And God help me. Oh, and that game is. This game, I'm, I'm playing blind, by the way. Tron 2.0 killer app for the original Xbox. My next Let's Play. I've, I, I've never played that game. I've, I've tested it out to see if it worked or not. Or, you know, to see how it played. The game is over 60 missions. So. <laughs> I don't know how long the Let's Play is going to be. And I've also tested this game out and you know tried like a level. I've never even completed a full level before. I just tested it out. I'm hoping this is one of those games where I'm, ho I'm hoping this is one of those game one of those games that has uh that still has music during the cutscenes or whatever. Because I do like music during my cutscenes. I just don't like it during my gameplay. You guys know that by now. <coughs> and hopefully there's voice acting without the music because some games just uh, I guess we'd rather not get into it. Uh I want I want to uh I'll skip training. Play it on normal. Let's see how things go. One thing I like about this game is there there seems to be a lot of uh sale individuals had not yet been converted today. The extent that they came from unique components. Twenty seconds to here. I can you read that fast. Fly over an altitude of twenty. We'll drop in from above the pier entrance and commence the op. Roger. Bato, the exit's all yours. Right. You just leave all of those fleeing rabbits to me. I'm counting on you. Hey, Chief, ready right. whenever you are. What's so important about this hop that I lose my day off? The military has requested us to arrest a witness who's at a black market weapons sale taking place at Nihama on Pier N3. Apparently, the weapons were scheduled to be scrapped by the military, but were misappropriated. Shouldn't we put a leash on him and see where he runs? The important thing is that he's the subject of an investigation. Make sure you extract his memories and find out who's backing his shopping spree. Regarding the current peer situation, it's believed that a substantially large armed group has infiltrated the site. You want me and Bato to do this alone? I'll have Ishikawa back you up. Pass information to him for analysis as you get it. I doubt that you'll have any trouble with it, Major, but the operating systems at the pier are pretty old. I'll send you data piecemeal. Lucas, keep an eye on military intel. Roger. Saito, back up the Major from the water. Roger. Puzzle and Boma, check out any groups you suspect are related. Roger. Roger. Okay. Now get out there and start earning your pay, people. Ooh. Roger that. The military's moved up in the world. They got us cleaning up after their messes. Let's have them owe us one. One thing I like about this game, when I first played it, or played a few levels, is that uh, I like the verticality, and I like the uh, 
Now, I'm not in here. I've spoken with the related bureaus. Complete your mission before the ship leaves. Roger. I like I like shooters that let you like they give you like mobility and they let you actually shoot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not shoot, but uh, games that let you act like shooters that act they let you actually like jump around and like that have uh that have uh that have sort of like platforming. I don't I don't necessarily I don't necessarily like platforming in my first person shooters. I you know like I think that sort of gets a, a little annoying at times. But uh yeah aside from that let's see here. Wow. Let's see. Wow, okay, this is crazy. Because I should have watched the uh or <coughs> excuse me. I guess I should have done the uh the tutorial. Come on. Be an option to grab. Is there a config action? I'm guessing it's X. I was watching a review of the game, <coughs> and he was saying how you have to sort of hold the grab button or whatever when you. Now I'm trying to figure out which button is the grab button. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I really should have watched the uh, did the uh, tutorial. I guess I have to, uh, hmm. Oh, man. Excuse me. I guess that's what I get for, uh, <laughs> for not doing the, uh, not doing the training missions. There it is, R1. Okay, so now let's see here. I guess I should be able to jump. Let's see. There we go. Gate now opening. This is Togusa. I pulled this info from the local cops. The pier security was hit by a sneak attack 48 minutes ago. And the security system was overwritten. Enemy forces seem to have the pier under their control. Understood. Yeah, this is a real sort of change for me because, uh... 
In this game, L1 is to shoot. And most shooters I play. Looks like the Jameson type man has left for the Harbor Control Center's tower. It's possible that they'll escape aboard a freighter. There isn't much time before they set sail. Hurry! You'll have to go in through the multi level warehouses. Look around for an entrance. Or at least most, shoot most shooters that I've played. Uh, the shoot button. The shoot button is normally the R1 button. Except for, uh. Except for. Yikes. Except for, uh. What is it, uh. Time splitters. Where. Unit ID records confirmed. I worked it so that ID data in the enemy cyber brains can be displayed as positional data. I've seen that pattern so Yeah, you, usually a, a lot of shooters that I play and a lot of shooters that I've played so far, the shoot button is normally <coughs> R1, with, it, with of course with the exception of uh, the Tom Splitter games, where the shoot button is R2. Target spotted. Oh, oh, here we go. I was trying to figure out how to do uh, melee. With the crane and your cyber capabilities, Major, I think you can pay attention. You should be able to obtain the hacking code for the transfer crane from the terminal inside that area. And try to find it. Over there! <laughs> this game kind of reminds me of a. <coughs> excuse me. Of Oni a little bit. <coughs> Because Uni also has a lot of melee combat and a lot of uh, jumping around and stuff. There we go. I was trying to figure out how to use the knives. Now I know. This will let you work the crane. It's a pattern code that runs along path A3. Okay. Executing crane boot up. So it's pretty neat, you know, my shoot button and my button and the button for uh for my weapons like my knives or whatever are basically right next to each other so the shoot button is L1 and to use knives is L2 so that's uh, sort of convenient oh shit sure, I might have messed up Oh, come on, really? Son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how the character moves. Like the character, like, the character's really fast and like very. Agile, like this. I wish there were more shooters like that, or at least more third person shooters like that. Like I said, of course, all of them doesn't need every shooter doesn't need to be like that, you know. But it's nice to uh, get that sort of change of pace every now and then.
Wow. Okay. Yeah, 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 you actually have to choose melee with square. I was trying to just melee real quick. And, uh, son of a gun. she would turn to look where she's jumping. I'll be right back. I believe my lasagna is ready. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, that lasagna is nowhere near finished. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, come on. I'll try to jump from here, I guess. There we go. And now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, so I guess I get over there from here? <laughs> 